Now, uh, are you familiar with alpha maps in other packages? I have now an alpha that I can use to control the opacity of this crumple. So I'm going to take the color and I'm going to plug it into opacity. And I'd say that it's done its job regarding diffuse shading, so I'm taking that off. I just needed to see where this was occurring. So I'm going to save this object. So it bakes this uh, surfacing onto it. Save the scene. And turn bump back on. And there you go. Would it, oh, you're right, because then I could just do, let's, let's do that. Dave is correct, and he's much better about surfacing than I am. Maybe wait, I didn't have to be quite so fancy. Position, wait, world coordinates, wait. But I'm not sure, wait, I'm inverting the fall off though. Well, if I put the position at point one on the Y, and I have the fall off set to a uh, thousand. Whoops. Uh, I think it's the fall off needs to be inverted. Where should I put it? Like this? Maybe if I did linear Y. Yeah. But the advantage of the other one is that it'll go both ways. <laughs> so if I set position to zero. Actually, let's set to 99 millimeters and then tell the fall off it's really, really high. <laughs> um, I did something wrong there. I think I broke it. Well, uh, one, there's two advantages to breaking out the fall off that I can see. Oh, maybe I messed with the scale. Yes, I must have done that. That's what I did. I don't know how. Okay, one advantage of doing it locally but using a world coordinate fall off is that it quote, it's quote unquote sticks to the uh, <laughs> it quote unquote sticks to the, what do you call it, the, the displacement. So even if the displacement's shuffling around, it's not shuffling through a texture. I'm gonna hit tab to make all those uh, bad keys go away. But keep Dave's advice in mind for the future. Questions? If you had, instead of displacing the, bringing the plane up to intersect, if you had just brought the rover down, Yes, it would have greatly, you wouldn't have to bother with that uh, fancy uh, spot subtraction business. You, wouldn't have, you would eliminate three nodes from the, from the uh, surfacing because all of a sudden, where's my pointer? There's my pointer. All of a sudden, uh, this gradient could just be left at Y coordinate. And Dave, do you know if Y coordinate is world coordinates in the gradient? Okay, so it would take out this subtract business. You'd still need this to get the world Y coordinate, but then you could plug it directly into the input. You wouldn't need the subtract because you'd already be at zero. Oh, the reason I didn't want to do that is because I don't like uh, I don't like keeping track of like 
track of that stuff in the gradient. I want to just break it out of the gradient. Do you want to try that? I mean, I think we're good for time. Like I said, this is, this took me maybe 20 minutes to set up when I and then maybe another five minutes to make that preview. Yes. So can you now bake this into an MVE? If you wanted to, but I don't recommend it because like the the advantage of doing it all this way is that you can set up the you can set like the subdivision level really high and in this case this brings it up to a million polygons but it'll take a minute. I mean you could bake it into an MDD but uh, I'm not sure if you'd want to, to deal with the weight of that MDD. So this, the MDD would be the million polygons? Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. that's, why, that's why I'm having the MDD handle the low level stuff, just the grooves. And I'm entrusting the displacement to the to the crumple texture, an inverted crumple texture. So here it is with a million polys helping define that procedural texture. And it'll probably be mad at me if I just chug through it. Oop. Don't worry, folks. It does that sometimes, but <laughs> but that's what will show up in the render. Oh, uh, other tricks that you can do, <coughs> I did this at work, was where I, I took a, uh, a copy of this object and I moved it like a, a few millimeters up and then I used a clip map on its Y value, to like world coordinate Y value to, to slice out like just where, uh, j wherever this area is. Let me see, you see this smooth area? use a very fine clip map to smooth it out and that way you can use you can create a matte object that clips this area out. Uh, anyone want to see me attempt this before I call it a night? So let me set that to six. Let's see, let me load a copy. Now this one's subdivided at three. Move it here, move it up, say 110 millimeters. And let's make it a matte object because I'm not going to do anything to it at all actually. So I could probably leave it a sub D of, of zero. Matte object constant black, clip map. Now here's the important part, procedural texture, value. Uh, I want a value of zero, which means no clipping. Add layer, procedural, value. And this one, I want it to be 100%. Uh, World coordinates, position, where this is located, 110 millimeters. And fall off try something extreme. The intention is to like get just just where it's uh, not displaced. So let me see what happens if I hit F9 on this. Because remember the clip map is only occurring oh sorry that's right. There, there is one thing I do have to do. Right now all of this map, all of this matte object is on the Y. I need some of it to, let me set the subdivision order to last because I'm not going to do the bump displacement on it. Although I probably could. And let me go back, subtract 100 millimeters from this. Whoops, I need to go to zero to do that because I've got auto key adjust turned on and I, I'm too lazy to actually set a key. There you go, okay. So let's see what happens if I hit F9. Yep. 
Oh, yeah, maybe it would help if I actually had the camera parked there. <laughs> And another thing we'd do uh, <coughs> is maybe relax this just a little bit. Um, one is, uh, I want a white line in world coordinate space through a uh, black, because I'm wondering, I was worried that if, I, uh, do you think it'll only hit, like, it'll only clip out where this exists, where it's white, if I didn't have this here to mark everything as black? Okay, then maybe I'll discard this for now. And let's see. Whoops. Oh yeah, that's right. Let me take the fall off for now. Okay. Let's make sure the black guy, the black is showing up. See, intersection's not enough for me. I, w I want it to be also where it's uh, not displaced on the Y. Okay, let's see. I think my Y value is slightly off. Yep, my Y value is definitely off. Sorry about that. I'm not sure why it took me like all these tries just to get this. <laughs> but that's how you can use, uh, if you need to do compositing, you can grab only this business. And the alpha will show only the mud displacement. So that's one way to get an alpha for this sort of thing. And again, it relies on it relies on the clip map only cutting out the bits of the matte object that are not uh, that don't have the correct y value. So any questions? If not, then I guess we're going to move on to Dave's car paint, take a break and maybe move on to Dave's car paint node tutorial. Hmm.